Yeah, it's, um, I mean, you know, I didn't have a great first round. I, I felt as uncomfortable over the golf ball as, as I haven't in a while and um, couldn't really find anything on the range as well And um, before the round, second round. But under the golf course, I found something in my setup that, um, you know, felt comfortable. I started swinging a better. I started getting my little cut back on my driver and um, went from there. I built momentum on, on hitting better shots and rolled in a few nice putts. I hit a few shots really close. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was building nicely momentum. Then I had a horrible fork putt on 17 um, for bogey, which, which sort of just put all the brakes on. And um, and then a bogey on one. And, uh, and you know, going down... Um, you know, back to five over, but uh, the last seven holes, I think, went five under and just had good stretches of, of a good putts, solid shots, and giving myself opportunities. I mean, it's it's a good round for me. It's, um, you know, a, it's a, it was a great round coming back after not a great first, first round. I could have easily just go out there and shoot another 74 or something and be out of the tournament. So, uh, at, you know, what I'd learned from last year was to never really give up in the US Open, just um, grind on, something's gonna, you know, if something happens, then you can get yourself right back into it. And um, I was just uh, grinding the whole day. I mean, it's a good position, four behind, um, going into any US Open third round is, is, a, is a good place.